Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and we have an awesome video for you today because we are back with MSI's Project Zero components and Project Zero, if you didn't see my previous video, which I highly recommend you look at either in the banner up above or in the description down below when we looked at these components first uh, last week, they are the motherboard and the case and the motherboard has a fantastic feature where all of its cable connectors are located on the rear of the PCB. And this has a profound impact on your case building and cable routing experience because you don't need to worry about routing any cables through from your motherboard into or around from the rear of the case. You don't need to use any of the cable routing holes. You're not gonna be popping off any of those rubber grommets. And all you need to do is just to install your motherboard and then everything just plugs in around the back. It's incredible. I love this feature and I hope we see it on more cases and motherboards in future. Today though, following on from my last video, we're going to be installing the motherboard into the case and building an actual PC. And it's probably going to be one of the cleanest looking PCs that you will see using off the shelf unmodified components because there are zero cables in the main chamber from your motherboard. They're all rooted around the back. You still have your graphics card, you still might have processor coolers and fans and that kind of stuff, but all of the power connectors that connect to your motherboard, all of the fiddly case panel connectors as well, they are all located around the back and it just makes so many steps of the PC building experience a lot easier. So today we're gonna to be building inside the case, which is the MAG M100R Pano Project Zero, and we've got a price for this case now as well. It's around £90 here in the UK, probably translating into a bit more than that in dollars, probably around $100, $120. But that means with a price of around $230 for the motherboard, that for not much more than $300, we are going to be able to build a Project Zero system, or at least get these two components and then throw in the rest of your components. So that's pretty good news. I honestly thought with the extra tooling that this case needed to fit those extra holes around the motherboard tray to cater for those components, because obviously you can't install this motherboard into your average case because your motherboard tray will be blocking all of these components. MSI has had to create this custom case to deal with that. So we're gonna be looking at how to cable route all the cables in this PC, go through the whole PC building process and come to some conclusions at the end. I should state that this is a pre-production sample of the M100R Pano Project Zero case. The final version will have ironed out some of the issues that I'll be mentioning later in this video and that I mentioned in my last video as well. So that's good news. Thanks to MSI for doing that. And uh, that's it from me. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to have your support and don't forget to comment below to let me know what you think of Project Zero. Would you like to see this cable-free design in more cases and motherboards? Would you like to see it in a particular form factor of case and motherboard as well? Super interested to hear your thoughts and without further ado, let's crack on with the build. So here we are with the Project Zero case then and we are going to be building a PC into this thing to see just what you have to do when you connect all the cables and you have to deal with cable routing with a motherboard that puts the connectors on the rear of the PCB and eliminates pretty much everything from the main chamber. So this is probably going to be one of the cleanest PCs you are going to see because there is nothing in the main chamber on the other side of the motherboard tray at all apart from other components such as your graphics card. The graphics card that we're going to be using is the MSI Aventus 3X GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super and it has the latest firmware update which solves the issues that we saw at launch. So this is now a really, really good, very, very quiet graphics card. And the 4070 Ti Super obviously has 16 gigabytes of memory, so it's really, really awesome. The motherboard that we're gonna be using, of course, is the B650M Project Zero. So this is for AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, but there is an Intel version of this motherboard as well. And the case that we're looking at here today is the Pano M100 R. Project Zero, and this thing is very, very affordable as well. I was expecting it to come in at around $130, $140, or around £120, but it's actually going to retail for around £90 to £100, which is really great news. We The power supply that we've got down here, as you can see, is the MSI MAG AB50GL PCIe 5, and as, that, as its name suggests, it is both ATX3 and PCIe 5 ready, and that means that it has an integrated connector for the NVIDIA RTX 4000 series, because obviously they need those new 16-pin connectors. So 
The other thing that we're going to be using down here is the MSI MAG Core Liquid E240 liquid cooler. And you can see a review to that cooler in the description down below. So let's crack on with the PC. So here we have the case laid out and we've uh, tidied up these cables a little bit just to separate them so we know where everything is going. But obviously not a finished article here by any means. We've still got lots of tidying to do later. So the uh, fan hub that we've got down here, this is where all the lighting and fan cables connect to. And most of them are daisy chained when it comes to the RGB lighting, thankfully. So we've just got one cable to connect to our motherboard and the RGB connector and fan headers obviously poking through the motherboard tray here because they are on the reverse side of the motherboard as well. So just your usual set of cables. The first things that we need to do is get the power supply installed and then the motherboard, uh, then the cooler, and then we can hopefully wire everything up and get the cable tidying sorted. So the power supply that we spoke about earlier is the MSI MAG AB50GL PCIe 5, obviously PCIe 5 support, and you get the 16 pin connector for Nvidia's latest graphics cards as well. And that is actually native to this power supply, in that it actually has the connector right there. You can see that. So we've got the um, native. 16 pin connector there for nvidia gpus and we'll get the cable out in just a second obviously everything fully modular on this power supply and we have 850 watts of power to play with which is more than enough for our system so let's take a look at the cables and we'll uh, start hooking up the ones that we need and um, get everything installed so these are just the uh, the standard cables that we're using here. There's no real point using cable extensions. I did that on my original review just to kind of emphasize what was going where and they were white cables so they kind of stood out a bit more. But because the cables are on the rear side of the motherboard and nothing is going through to your PC apart from the graphics card cable, um, there isn't really any real need to do that. So obviously with the 16 pin cable, um, you kind of want to have that connected straight from the power supply all the way through to the graphics card. And this is the cable that we're talking about here. So very obvious which one you have. And this is the 600 watt version of the cable. So plenty of power on tap. You can power a, an, an RTX 4090 from this cable if you want to as well. So that's um, what we're going to be collecting first up to emphasize that. And um, if I can just get this stupid cable tie tie off there we go so um that is literally all you do just plug this in to here like that get it to click into place and uh, there we go so that is the only cable that's going to run through to your graphics card obviously if you want to use cable extensions you can um but you would have to connect the pci express connectors like these ones uh, straight to the power supply you can still power normal graphics cards off this thing as you can see, you've got plenty of um, cables for graphics cards and PCIe cables. So just plug one of these in, run your cables, cable extensions off if you want to do that. Um, AMD cards, obviously, you need to do that anyway because they don't have the new uh, PCI, PCI Express 5 uh, connector. So yeah, just bear that in mind when you are installing the case. Obviously, you don't need to use this particular power supply. You can use any power supply you want. It, it, there's nothing here is... Um, preventing you from using any power supply that you want with this case. We've just uh, used this one because MSI sent it along. And um, I will, of course, be using an RTX uh, 4070 Ti Super in this build with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it, of course, needs this connector anyway. So let's crack on with installing the power supply. So we have the connectors mounted on our power supply that we actually need. We do actually need a uh, SATA power connector, even though we're using an M.2 SSD for our build, because we need to power things like the SS like the uh, uh, fan hub and that kind of thing. So we're going to have one of those, those installed. We've obviously got the 16-pin power connector for our graphics card. We've got the CPU connector, and we've got the 24-pin ATX connector. So all of the rest of the cables can go back in the box and uh, keep those for a rainy day or if we need uh, an upgrade or something like that. But um, always worth just connecting the cables that you need to the power supply and no more than that because you're just making your job more difficult when it comes to cable tidying. So let's crack on and get the power supply installed.
So what do we make of the Project Zero concept then? Well, really it's not a concept anymore because the case is soon gonna be available and the pre-production case that we've got here is going to be made retail for around 90 pounds or around $100, maybe a little bit more than that once it lands in the US. The motherboard we already have a price for, it's around $230, about the same in pounds over here in the UK. That's pretty good for a decent B650 motherboard. Um, obviously there are slightly cheaper models out there, but this does have some premium components to it, as well as all of the connectors located on the rear of the PCB, as we already know. So I really, really love this concept though, and the feature, and I really hope that we do see this feature in more motherboards and cases in future. Obviously MSI, is ideally placed to do that because it's now got some pretty decent cases to its own name, including the M100R Pano Project Zero that we've got here. And we also know that MSI is a really good manufacturer of motherboards as well. So it's ideally placed in the market to do that. And we've seen other people routing power through the graphics card recently through the PCI Express slot, including everything that it needs to power the latest GPUs. So no extra power connector. So that's another cable that we could potentially shed from the main chamber to make our PC look as clean as possible and to make the PC building experience as clean as possible as well. So from that point of view and the fact that Project Zero doesn't cost the earth, it really doesn't cost that much more than building a typical PC inside a case like this, I think MSI is onto a winner here if only we can see it with more components. So I'm sure you'd like to thank MSI for sending over the components to uh, to me today. I certainly would like to thank them because it's a really, really cool concept and something that we'll be able to buy in the real world in the very, very near future. So keep an eye out on the usual retailer website and you can see link to links to where you can actually buy these products from in the description below. So first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already for watching this video for commenting and liking if you haven't done all of that stuff just please make sure you do at least a few of those things before you leave me today thanks for watching and i will be back soon